Hello everyone, it's the uh, 7th of September, uh, which is in a field over near Millington at the moment, there's uh, Millington over there in the background. Uh, we just started drilling some winter barley. Uh, we're just direct drilling it straight into a uh, wheat double here. Uh, it's conventional, it's not, it's not organic. So uh, it's probably, it might have been nice to be in on a week earlier. Unfortunately, the weather's not been uh, not been the best. But anyway, although we've had loads of rain, this uh, it's travelling really quite well. Um, we won't do any damage uh, drilling it anyway, that's for sure. Uh, and the soil seems in good condition. Uh, it's very stony here anyway. But if you dig down into it, you can see there it uh, it breaks up very easily. There's plenty of worms in there. So yeah, there's worms, uh, I think the drill's burying the seed well enough. Sam's drilling, I was going to leave him to it hopefully. Uh, we used to drill head first for this drill. Uh, not really sure why we do, but we do. Uh, it's a weaving G3 drill, it's a trail one. It really doesn't like uh, side slopes. It might as well have super rack it wheels on it on the side slope. So once it's done around the outsides, we'll drill, drill straight up and down the hill. Uh, it's a variety called Craft that we're drilling. It's a malting barley. Find any one there. There's one down there, down in the slot. You can see it with the red stuff on it. You always do get a bit of seed on the surface with a disc drill, but there's plenty down in the bottom. That's behind the wheels as well, actually. Anyway, so it's down there. Uh, the agronomist, uh, Vanessa, she wants us to put a, well, we'll have to anyway, pre-emergence herbicide on it to kill brack grass and any other things coming up. So that'll probably need to go on in the next day or two, but um, you really need as much seed as you can burying for pre-emergence herbicides because they have a habit of damaging the seed if you're not careful, but the majority of this is getting buried all right, so it'll have to go. The trouble is if you put it in too deep, then it the seed can struggle to get out of the ground as well. So, but I think that I think that'll be all right. Let's a look. Some Claire and Adam's cows. Speak to you later. About the uh, steepest bit of land we've got here, just here. Um, got the reason we've got a three meter direct drill as well, so we can pull it up. It seems to be going all right so far. In fact, it seems to be quite in well actually. Probably roll it tomorrow. Right? The 12th of October, this is a bit of an experiment. This is a uh, organ organic um, spring rape stubble. Uh, we've been over once with uh, Adam's Supermax, which is like springtime drag. We've broadcast some rye seed on, uh, and now we're just going over with a uh, Missouri result stubble rake, just to try and cover the seed up a bit. I think it's all right, uh, we'll see. Of 
could have ploughed this field, but uh, I didn't really want to plough it because there was quite a lot of wild oats in the uh, oilseed rape and charlock as well. And I didn't really want to plough that seed down because it's the sort of seed that hangs around for a long time. So I really want it germinating and growing. And I think rye, I'm hoping if the rye is as competitive as it usually is, it should outcompete the uh, wild oats uh, and the charlock. It usually does. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's a bit of an experiment. We'll see. So hopefully, uh, you know, broadcast the uh, rye seed on here this morning. Uh, usual sort of seed rate, really. So that's all just kicking around, just on the soil surface. I don't want crows and pigeons eating it all, so we're just running over with this rake just to uh, cover the seed up. It's a bit drizzly today. Uh, it's, not, it's not a bad day. The soil is actually sort of just drying on the surface, but it's drizzling at the same time. Uh, if it stays dry, I think we might just run over it with the rollers as well, just to uh, maybe help against slugs and uh, keep it firm and help it get its feet into the ground properly. But anyway, hopefully it'll be alright. It'll be an interesting experiment anyway. Thank you. Bye.